Do you know that there is a visa backlog in agriculture because a union is scaring governments with reports of worker abuse? The agriculture visa has hit a snag, with no countries signing on to the new work visa, which the government attributes to the Australian Workers' Union scaremongering. For detailed information watch this video till the end and yes like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Warm welcome from Brain Drain Consultants to our Immigration Information and News Channel, a 2Z Immigration Updates. However, the AWU says it was simply doing what unions do, lobbying to protect the workers it represented and warning other countries about the history of foreign worker abuse within the industry. The visa came into effect in October and at the time Agriculture Minister David Littleproud said the new visa holders would be on farms by Christmas and begin to ease the industry's chronic seasonal worker shortage. But a negotiation with the Southeast Asian countries the new program was targeting has stumbled. Mr Littleproud pointed the finger at the AWU for generalising and demonising Australian farmers to international representatives, which had muddied the waters. Mr Littleproud said that the AWU has met with ambassadors and visitors, and contacted many embassies from Southeast Asia, encouraging them not to sign up to the agricultural visa because they believe that Australian farmers will exploit their citizens. Mr Littleproud acknowledged that within agriculture, like any industry, there is always a small cohort that does the wrong thing. The AWU confirmed it had spoken to ambassadors but did not reveal which countries it had been in contact with. AWU National Secretary Daniel Walton said the union had no desire to demonize agriculture, but it would not stay silent after numerous reports showed the industry was addicted to worker exploitation and worker abuse. Mr Walton said that if your industry serves up a mountain of bad apples you have to be unethical, stupid, or both to ignore the need for systemic reform. They have spoken to ambassadors and they will continue to tell them and anyone else who will listen that the new agriculture visa is dangerous and will pave the way for even more exploitation. If the minister was being honest he would admit that the abuse they know about would be a tiny proportion of what's going on. Workers with poor English, and no local connections find it very hard to report mistreatment. Mr Littleproud urged the AWU to be constructive, and encourage the union representatives to go out and meet farmers to understand their needs, rather than sitting in a high-rise in Melbourne. He said the visa negotiations were being handled by Foreign Affairs Minister Marais Payne, who was committed to resolving the situation in January. However, Mr Walton said the union had sought meetings with Mr Littleproud to voice its concerns, however the minister had shown no interest. He said that if Mr Littleproud cared at all about the potential for migrant workers to be exploited and abused you'd think you would want to hear all perspectives instead of burying your head in the sand. We hope you appreciate our efforts to provide important and accurate immigration information. Please share your feedback and suggestions in the comments section. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, to show your support and yes don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for your valuable time, and we hope to see you again soon with another video. If you need any further assistance or want to discuss anything related to your immigration dreams, then you can book an expert consultation session with our team of registered migration consultants.